Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampathy watching Sampath Samfax YouTube channel and this is Poco X3 custom ROM reviews Pixel OS for Surya with Android version 13th, 5th September 2022 is the latest security patch available. The kernel used here is 4.14.190. Quick Silver Surya kernel has been used. This is the September 11th latest build available for Poco X3 slash NFC. It's applicable for both the device, the Surya and as well as Karna. And I have been running the CPU throttling test from last 6 minutes and 6 seconds and 5 milliseconds. You can see here the maximum score is 161 and average is 155 and minimum is 140. It's throttled to 95% of its max performance. You can see here there is little bit of throttling. It's not huge throttling has been going on in this particular ROM but overall the performance of this particular ROM is very good I have made the previous ROM I mean previous version of this pixel OS you can check out in my channel I will add a card here if you want this is the performance and it's in beta version there is a dub first OS I know it has been released Android 13 but it's an unofficial build and so I am waiting for its official build once it's released I will making the video hope you guys understand this is a dialer you get here let me dial here as you can see there is a direct video call and i have been checked it the direct video call feature is working fine what is your sim network will it support or not you need to check out here the direct video call feature is practically it's working in this particular rom if i dial here you will get a no there is no call recording feature in this particular rom that's how the dialer here and you will get this android 12 12.1 l type of wallpapers as of now these are the same wallpapers for android 13 2 and wallpapers and style you get plenty of customization here as you can see there are pixel wallpapers pre-installed and in basic colors this is new thing in android 13 i already spoken about that in some other android 13 rom for poco x3 as you can see there are a lot more colors in basic colors have been added this is a pure android 13 feature and wallpapers and colors stood the same dark theme you can enable here and themed icons is still in beta and upgrade you will get up to 2 into 2 to up to 5 into 5 and home settings you get pixel launcher as a pre-install launcher obviously this is a pixel os rom and widget settings you get all the basic settings battery high widget and the android turning style and monet engine customization and material u design is fine enough big thing in quick settings panel only now the power button and settings button has been moved lower to the qs panel and this is how the actual qs panel i didn't like this auto brightness sensor toggle mood here it should be here only but i don't know is it android 13 feature or this pixel os rom developer made like this bring it back here only it will be a little bit convenient rather than having in the icons this is how the options and everything is working fine in the edit options you can see here print of options are available if you want you can drag and add them that's not a problem and the ui wise the quick settings panel i can tell it's fine not smooth not bad either it's fine enough to have your quick settings panel here and this is the app drawer here you can see it's good it's not as smooth as some other like recolino edition or some other carvers edition like that but it's still make your job as you can see settings panel it's also not as smooth as what i told before let me show you app settings and before that uh, internet connection i have 100 mbps geo giga fiber connection it's pulling up to 90 to 95 mbps which is fine in my opinion even mobile data connection is working fine and there is no any problem in earpiece while making calls even by the headphone jack and in the loudspeaker it's not a problem in my opinion carrier aggregation support is also working fine messages all the things basic things play store certification everything will be explained in a bit starting with camera application you get simple google google camera basic things you can do it from here if you want you can use this advanced gcam port i am using this arnova build gcam you can see here learn more you can see the version of arnova build gcam i am using if you want you can use any other gcam ports which will be working fine no problem regarding that benchmark is this geekbench here you can see the single score is 569 multi score is 1769 and linux 4.14.190 quicksilver surya kernel has been used as i said before the scores are 
fine here it's not bad 569 single score is fine multi a little bit of better but it's very good score considering this is a 113 rom and to do benchmark results you can check out the app opening time also simultaneously you can check out 3,68,924 and temperature raise was 1.9 degrees Celsius and battery drop is 3% during this testing it's minimal and very good in my opinion even i did not lower the brightness still the temperature raise was just 1.9 degrees celsius which is good in my opinion the thermals are very very good in this google pixel os compared to pixel experience we are not getting pixel experience from so, so much frequently and the, that is unofficial build i hope you guys switch to this pixel os unless until that will become an official I hope you guys understood in this point switch to this pixel OS it's exactly similar just the name in naming is different and DRM info it's quite obvious you get level 1 certification you can use all the OTT applications like Netflix Amazon whatever you want to use it will be playing in high definition resolution that's not the problem here I already seen that that's not the problem and safety net status as you can see it will get passed you can use all the payment applications like google pay phone pay paytm whatever you want to use the payment application those will work fine google maps also working fine no problem regarding that and recorder it's a new style this has been improved compared to android 12. once you flash this from try this recording it will be helpful in my opinion you can try that it will be definitely going to helpful in your work if you have that uh, recording options you can try it out and uh, whatsapp is also working when now moving into actual settings as i said before the response is not that great but still it's okay i can say and uh, battery you can see here battery usage you can check out here i have been recorded and ideal battery drain is very very low in my opinion as you can see one to two percent are like that and the charging speeds are also fine here and I have been testing it and running the benchmark results. It was fine in my opinion. The battery life you can expect around 8 to 10 hours based upon your usage pattern guys. And this is 6000 mAh battery Indian variant. If you have 5160 mAh uh, global variant then you will get lightly 1 hour less. I mean 7 hours to 8 hours of screen and, and it will depend upon your usage pattern. If you play BGMI like games continuously it will give 5 hours of screen and time continuously from 100 to 0 percent that's how you can use here and extreme battery saver options are also given it's in pixel os then you will get all the basic functions and pay battery percentage also you can turn off turn off from here optimization profiles are also added for per app you can choose from here storage is fine no problem and sound and vibration you get all the basic settings here me sound enhancer you get and hi-fi audio if you enable that whenever you use in the headphone jack just disable this hi-fi it's only applicable for loudspeakers and studio speakers quality is also fine in this rom no problem regarding that you can choose the headphone type and preset and the smart scene from here clear speaker is also working fine and all the basic settings and vibration and haptic strength from here you can adjust here no patterns has been given but strength you can minimize and maximize based upon your liking mm. moving into display setting adaptive brightness let me turn on here and show you i'll turn off the light as you can see the adaptive brightness is working fine in my opinion just they should have been given this option top of the brightness slider only but they have skipped and dark theme let me show you it's not in the pitch black condition that's the only thing if they can add just here only some of the presets then it would be better in my opinion but anyhow this is how it is night light live display colors are kept to natural if you can choose according to your liking refresh rate there is only minimum maximum preferred refresh rate i kept all the things to 120 it's still it's not feeling that great don't get me wrong when you compare with other rounds it's not great but if you, if you look at individually this is very good I, yeah it's exactly same as pixel experience from again i am telling refresh it per app you can choose additional display features don't turn on them when you are playing the gameplay that's the only thing i can say and wallpaper sound style i already spoken about that accessibility menu here everything is working fine audio adjustment you can adjust from here these are the actual settings you need to try in android 
13 AOSP type of ROMs as you can see vibration and haptic feedback you can turn on turn off from here switch access is also given it's a handy feature and accessibility menu this is really handy feature without using the actual physical buttons you can directly turn on turn off the volume even brightness slider without dragging the notification panel you can use this is a very handy feature most of them don't know about that let me know in the comment section guys if you know that color and motion there is dark mode here also remove animations if you want a little bit faster but i don't recommend it animation should be there it looks nice and sound amplifier is there live transcribe is also there security options you get just fingerprint unlock here no face unlock and encryption credentials you can see rom is by default encrypted security i will show you the fingerprint unlock very soon location is also working fine as i said google maps are also working fine no problem regarding that now moving into system and gestures system navigation gesture navigation left right edges sensitivity you can adjust from low to high or keep it default and swipe to invoke assistant is there there is no option to increase the pill length and pill height if you want you can go back to two button and three button navigation buttons one added mode is working fine swipe to three finger screenshot is also working fine no problem and system update option is available if, if you are someone looking for that you can but i don't recommend downloading the updates here just download it from the official website of them and flash through recovery clean flash is good in my opinion just take a backup in your pen driver if you have pc that will make your experience really good i do understand you have important data every time you can't switch but this is a better way in order to flash the roms continuously then you will get very good experience with any other rom in your poco x slash nfc i hope I explained everything here let me move into bgmi and one of this video and what are the graphic settings you get let's see you guys can see here the graphics is limited to only smooth plus ultra i mean 40 45 fps gameplay is possible in this particular rom by default if you know how to enable 60 fps using file transfer method and gfx tool you can increase it up to 60 90 fps would have been better if they given by default but this is how you get in this particular rom i'll unfollow him and go into bootcamp it took a lot more time to match making guys and if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below guys and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon whenever i upload a new video you'll get notified and if you like the video give it a like here we go let's jump into bootcamp how it handles obviously it's not going to be as smooth as 90 fps or 60 fps button but it's a quite a good experience i already tried it morning a tedium it was fine but people requesting me to do this boot computer and some of them not some of them many i know they want to know how much fps it will get live time guys see whoever records that gameplay and show you the fps it might not be the accurate guys you just feel it is as a accurate and if you try it practically it will not the same but what i show here it will be exactly the same how live i can show you that you need to trust on me that's left to you guys if you like this kind of videos you can have if it is available i will definitely show you the real time fps count those are not as accurate as some other settings what i show and display brightness you can see here it's quite a good uh, experience in this particular room the pixel OS. that's how the experience here it might not be the great experience for gaming but casual gaming you can do in this particular rom i got a gun let's see whether i can get any player or not there are players but this 40 fps i don't think so i can finish them let's see hope so and it also depends upon your network connection and also some of the basic settings like if you are a gyro player it will be a little bit helpful for you those things also you need to consider guys it's fine actually oh just missing there was a frame drop you can notice that this is how the experience with this particular rom and 33 watt charger support 
these things people wait for a while you can see charging rapidly support it was there actually i charged with as you can see charging rapidly the 33 watt charging support is there and fingerprint unlock you can see here it's very very quick there is no face unlock but fingerprint unlock will do your job that's how the pixel os for this particular rom that's in beta once it gets stable what all the changes they will add i will be updating in my community section have a check on that also in the same channel only this is how the google pixel os for poco x3 slash nfc the pixel os android 13 based with september 5th latest security patch hope you guys like it and we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now